do you want? To go next. Today and ask her about where the divine knowledge capsule is. Here, over here. Oh, welcome back. Loyal patron, you name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else? Can you read? Uh huh. So it appears the can knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please oblige me. Oh, <laughs> I knew custom, but you know, that kind of. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. And not to mention that if. But how can we be sure your information is accurate? Paimon's curious how you just happen to have this. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Therefore, I must open up for the information's authenticity. Well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, it's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain Misery, the leader of Ain El Ahmar. Ain El Ahmar? Ah, see, so the group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. Thanks for the imp. Please, it's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Please, don't hesitate to contact me if you ever need anything else in the future. More up for Dory? Well, we figured out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Turns out, it ended up in the hands of Ein El Ahmar. Let's head back and talk to Al Haytham. Really? All right. Let's hear it. Dory even gave us evidence. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken s All right. The person in this picture is in... In which case? If at first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these on... After we defeat them, we can finally have... Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on... See you then. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. Yep, let's go. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. This is turning into quite an occasion. Back up! Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to- I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get them, boys!
solidified. I'll be back. I'll be back. Following orders. Feeling lucky today? Take that! I'll take my place. You want this one? Academia scum! <laughs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can... Uh -huh. Boss? Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Hatham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! Looks like he used the Divine Knowledge Capsule. You mean, the Divine Knowledge Capsule did that to him? Oh, yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermensoul? I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. This Divine Knowledge Capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? If the mantra took him away, then that means the Academia got the Divine Knowledge Capsule back too. Oh, what a shame. We were so close. Still, Paimon didn't expect the Divine Knowledge Capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Oh, who knows what would have happened to us? As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the Divine Knowledge Capsule that... Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Academia, do you have any idea how we can go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, Scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? Uh, it's almost the day of the Sub-Zero's festival! Maybe we should head back too. We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good! And we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. Hmm. 
Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require?